check, 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 hot for food. Thanksgiving, check. Hey everyone, it's Lauren from Hot For Food and today I'm here to cook for you and celebrate Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving in Canada. I know it's much earlier than in the United States, but we're making something special, very fall inspired. It's a side dish that you can bring to impress your family and friends or make it for yourself and one other person and pair it with other side dishes. It's a stuffed acorn squash with brown rice stuffing and red wine cranberry sauce. And I'm gonna show you how to make the simple brown rice stuffing, but you really could stuff this thing with any type of savory stuffing that you like. So let's get festive. So these are acorn squashes. They're very cute. You wanna buy them green with a bit of orange on them. And we're gonna cut these babies in half. So I'm gonna keep the seeds, but you don't have to. They do make a nice crunchy topping for this stuffed acorn squash. I'm gonna to toast them at the same time. So when you're scooping out the inside, just scrape a little further so you can make a bit more room for the stuffing that we're gonna include. So that's good. You get room for stuffing and you get a lot of squash. So you can use melted coconut oil, olive oil, or vegan butter, and then you're gonna add maple syrup. And this is gonna be the coating and the seasoning for the squash, as well as the seeds. So now just brush all the flesh of the squash. And then we're also gonna add salt and pepper on top. So for the seeds, take about a tablespoon of the same mixture and toss in salt and pepper. If you're using vegan butter, you might not need to add much extra salt and then get them well coated and then spread them out onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And both of these are gonna go into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven and the seeds will take about 20 minutes and the squash will take about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna make a cranberry sauce from dried cranberries, but you could also use the canned pre-made stuff and then just add these other flavors to it. It's totally up to you, or you can just use the canned stuff and leave it on its own. But I'm gonna elevate it with a little bit of red wine and orange zest just to bring out more of the flavor. So to a pot, we're gonna add dried cranberries, water, red wine, raw cane sugar, and orange zest. So this is gonna thicken as it heats up. We're just on like a medium heat, so let it simmer, and the alcohol will cook off, but it will leave the flavor. There's the seeds all golden and toasted, so just leave them aside until you're ready to serve the squash. And now we'll get started on the stuffing. So you're gonna take some more of the oil maple syrup mixture and add it to the hot pan, and start by sauteing some onions. Once the onions are a little soft, add some nutmeg and cinnamon. We're gonna add chopped red pepper and thawed frozen corn or fresh corn. And you wanna get the heat up to about medium high because you really wanna start getting some caramelization on these veggies. So toss them in all the spices and then just stir occasionally. All right, now you're gonna lower the heat, add in some garlic and some finely chopped kale. So once the kale's wilted, you can add in your cooked rice, give it a stir, and then add in tahini and just heat it through and then finish it with salt and pepper and you're done. So there it is, a stuffed acorn squash with red wine cranberry sauce, all homemade from scratch. Perfect for Thanksgiving this weekend if you're living in Canada like we are, so we're gonna be celebrating. If you're looking for other ideas, we have lots on this channel, in fact. Make sure you check out our sweet potato mash, our green bean casserole with crispy onion strings, and we've also got a video for stuffing three ways. So if you don't like this brown rice stuffing, there's plenty more ideas where that came from. So you're sure to find something you can make for your Thanksgiving feast this weekend. So I guess I better taste this, right? I already know what it tastes like. The key is to get the squash very tender. Mm-hmm. I really like toasting the seeds. I think it adds something extra special to the dish. So I definitely recommend doing that. This is the kind of dish that if 
people who are omnivores at your table are like going to look at it and want one. So I would suggest bringing extra because they're going to be eating their like weird muted brown turkey stuffing and it's going to look real sad next to these. All right, we'll be back with more for you every Wednesday here on Hot For Food. So click subscribe. There's a button down there and in the description. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, share this video with your friends around the country who are celebrating Thanksgiving this weekend. And always leave comments about what you think about these dishes. Post photos on social media. Use hashtag Hot For Food. And we're at Hot For Food, so tag us so we can find your pictures. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, happy Thanksgiving.